What is going on, everybody? Floopy Donkey here, and we have got the official first look at Madden 22. The trailer just dropped, and guys, we're going to break down the trailer scene by scene, frame by frame, and kind of go over exactly what all was in this trailer. Unfortunately, because of copyright, I cannot put out the entire video. I'll just have still frames of the video, kind of like what we got going on right now with the opening scene. And if you want to actually see the trailer, I will put a link down in the description below and probably in the comments so that you guys can check that out and look at it for yourself and then come back and check out the video and see uh, kind of how I break down everything. There's a lot of good things that I liked and there's some things that I'm kind of skeptical about. So let's first look at this. The first few seconds of the trailer show some actual gameplay footage whether or not this is exactly how the game's going to look at we'll have to wait and see you see so many games that show things like this with actual game footage but it's kind of very cinematic and it doesn't actually look like what we will actually get to play uh when we actually get the game but uh the first thing that comes up is this frame right here that says before the unexpected happens that there is speculation it looks like that they're going to incorporate some type of like media presence inside the game now we've had before like twitter news feeds and things like that but uh and rich eisen has been kind of in and out of madden for quite some time now um so it's cool to see him back in there i hope that they add a little bit more to this um kind of like in college football the ncaa 14 i've been playing a lot of that lately so i'm gonna kind of reference that a lot because there's a lot of good things in ncaa 14 but uh the kind of the halftime updates the game day updates those types of things right before you get into the right before you get into the games there's always types of things that kind of enhance the immersion of the game and hopefully that's what this means so speculation happens you see that on the screen then we jump forward to change happens and now this change happens is quite interesting for me so one of the things that i noticed when playing ncaa and also all pro football 2k8 here in the last a uh, few weeks i've been playing those games a lot is how much better the kicking system is on those games compared to the recent madden history where you have you know the double tap of the x or the a button or you know whatever you're using and it's just really really easy field goals are almost automatic and i've never gotten why they haven't changed to something kind of like shooting a free throw in 2k nba or kind of uh like you see in golf games where you have to keep that line very straight if you go left or right then the ball will hook or curve or you'll it'll push right or left because cook, kicking a football is a lot like hitting a golf ball where you can slice it you can hook it you can draw it those types of things so i would i really hope that when it has this frame here where it says change happens that they're actually changing the kicking system and and although that might not be something that hypes fans up i do think this is something that will make the experience a lot better playing online when you're playing franchise mode and the game's on the line, you got to make these good kicks that it's going to bring a little bit of immersion. And that's what I'm really about. And we're really going to hit home on a lot of these franchise things. So uh, let's go into the next frame, which gives you a few looks at some of the quarterbacks. First up is Kyler Murray. I like how they showed him first. Really cool picture of him there. Follow that up by Trevor Lawrence, the number one overall pick. We still haven't seen his face. So it's kind of like they're hiding him uh, for a big reveal. You can't see his face. Next up, we have Tua Tonga Faloa gets a uh, little entrance in there. As well it's good to see him uh getting some love and some shine in the trailer and then it goes into this trailer where you got stefan diggs doing his route running the ball and you have a little freeze frame where it says real life happens so this is really talking about new mechanics in the game so momentum replicating what happens on sunday to the actual game that's one thing that madden always hypes up that you know that, that they're trying to replicate uh, a real experience unfortunately they've not been able to do that in the recent year so hopefully this will actually be a trend in the right direction there's not a lot of other footage showing anything different we've got king henry here derrick henry running and stiff arm it looks like Darius is it darius leonard i believe and uh is showing in real life him actually doing this same stiff arm that they replicated in the game now unfortunately for me a lot of these animations that they're showing in the little slideshow you've got one with dalvin cook you also have uh another one with Miles Gaskins getting tackled here. It looks like a lot of the same animations, which is something that I'm not too excited about. I don't like the fact that I'm seeing a lot of the same animations, uh, especially for a lot of people who play Madden a lot. You can tell that some of the throwing mechanics from the quarterback, the running, the cuts, the jukes, they really seem very similar to the last few Maddens, and that is kind of unfortunate. I think one of the things that's always held Madden back and what makes people always really go back to the 2K days is the mechanics, the momentum, the way it feels to actually run with the ball carrier, to throw balls 
where it doesn't seem like players are connected to one another, where they're actually having separate animations and all are running out there. There's 22 players doing 22 different things. And it just doesn't seem like in Madden you get that year after year. And next comes up to this little animation. You got Sean McVay throwing down his clipboard where it says emotion happens and expect the unexpected. But again, this is something that we see all the time. I mean, it's, it's really funny. In tw Madden 21, you always saw the coach throwing down his clipboard at the beginning of the game. And I always picked, I'm like, why is he so mad before the game even started? So for them highlighting that and putting that in a trailer, to me, that key seems a little over the top and unnecessary. We do have some new off the field animations, like whenever timeouts are called, you see Bruce Arians here with his defense and it looks like there's Tom Brady there as well. And then it brings up another frame says decision making happens. I'm not really sure what this means, if there's gonna be extra emphasis on certain situations. And we'll see that a little bit later where they might implement some things from NCAA 14 to where if you ever played that before and you were playing uh, away at a stadium and you're a severe underdog, or even if you're just not at home, a lot of the lines and the routes, they will actually become squiggly and you're not sure exactly what route that the wide receiver running back tight end is running. Or you might see the icon over the player. Uh, let's say it's a tight end and that might be uh, the A button or the circle button or whatever that it won't even show up when the play is started. So you don't know exactly if that's the right thing. And I'm hoping that that is actually something that they implement in the game. Then we go into the talent tree. So this is a really big thing that uh, they released actually kind of like in the patch notes talking about a talent tree or skill tree for coaches. We have a breakdown right here of that. And you see the first thing that got brought to mind is this talent tree. I really hope that the talent tree is not like the coach XP that we've had in recent memory. So I really hope it's something different and you actually get rewarded for keeping a coach around for quite some time. They get some really strong. You see, it's, you see up at the top, it says player growth and staff modifications. And the one that they got highlighted to the right says secret remedy which says increase xp gains for uh your looks like your safeties by 10 percent and increase xp gains for your safety so again it's cool to see the tree looks different but i'm really worrisome that it is really just the same things as the coach upgrades in previous years and they just kind of uh made it look different we also see over to the right you got bruce arians where it says running game passing game looks like he's in a press conference i'm hoping that this is different as well this i hope is just not like morale boost for the team and xp boosts and those types of things i really would like to see especially in franchise there'd be some severe consequences for exactly what you're choosing and they're not the same things over and over again if we go over to the left we actually got coaches with uh this is stuff is really actually the same with uh you know coaches and exactly the scheme that they're running then we have down in the bottom right or the middle right staff management and we have things like a talent tree for each coordinator which is actually really really cool and player personnel so player personnel also has some things over there so it's really cool to see that staff management is going to probably be a little bit more in depth then just the head coach will also get things like offensive coordinator and defensive coordinator. I hope again, I'm going back to the NCAA that they have some things like they had in that game, which there was a lot of different skills that you could input. And really, as you grew, it really gave you a uh, serious advantage uh, against other teams and in crucial situations. And then down on the bottom, you've got a managed player health. Now, health and injuries in the NFL are vital. There's very rarely that uh, even an offensive line is able to stay healthy throughout the entire uh, course of a season. And most of the time you have so many different of offensive line combinations, people get hurt all the time. You see that it's kind of one of the things that, that, create, that makes the NFL great because you think that a quarterback or running back is gonna last the entire season, then somebody else steps in, it completely changes the dynamic of the team. The games that's played, the whole NFL. I mean, just think about Dak Prescott getting hurt, Christian McCaffrey for the Panthers. Those two teams didn't even stand a chance once their players got hurt. So it's cool to see that it looks like they're kind of implementing some type of Teague system to where you're going to have to keep an eye out the later you get into the season. It's probably going to be likely that players can get hurt more often. And it looks like down in the bottom right, you see where it says next gen stats game plan. And you can actually set an offensive game plan. Now, I don't know if this is for simulation or exactly what's going on. So I'm kind of interested to see a little bit more on that. And this is all has to do with franchise. So I am a big franchise guy and I'm really glad to see that we're going to get some things different. I hope it's just not a different look for things. I hope this really does change the way franchise is played and how it feels 
uh, because I mean, after one or two years, if this is gonna be the same thing, you know, it's really gonna be uh, monotonous for a lot of us. After that scene, the next one was Pressure Happens. This is what we were talking about a little bit earlier with NCAA and the squiggly lines and being away from your stadium effects, kind of uh, what kind of routes you can see, how well you kick the ball, how well you throw the ball. And we were here with, uh, we're at the Broncos stadium and you see pressure happens. It shoots to a pretty cool scene with the fans. There's rain, Patrick Mahomes signaling that he can't really hear because of the crowd noise. Then switches to my favorite team, the Carolina Panthers. Glad that they're actually getting a little bit of love. Brian Burns actually hyping up the defense in the home field with his arms getting pumped up. And after a few transitions, shows Tom Brady and Patrick Mahomes both throwing a ball in clutch time to either Travis Kelsey or Chris Godwin. And unfortunately for my Panthers, AJ Bouye got just mossed and looks like they scored a touchdown on him. And then Travis Kelsey making a shoestring type catch on the sideline for a touchdown to win the game. And that switches over to greatness happens, which is kind of the whole theme of this Madden. It's called the MVP edition with Tom Brady and Patrick Mahomes. We all think that, uh, you know, Tom Brady is gonna quote unquote pass the baton and uh, to Patrick Mahomes, who's probably gonna be the next great quarterback in the NFL, he's already great. And then the last thing is game day happens here. So just talking about, I'm assuming uh, Madden 22 in general, that game day happens. There was uh, there was not a lot in the trailer. There were some things that I liked. I like to see that there's a little bit more being added in the franchise. I am not too thrilled that I am seeing the same gameplay mechanics from the previous Madden's. That's kind of unfortunate. That's really what we're after because if you don't change the gameplay and the way the game feels, even if you're updating and putting these all these extra little features in, but you're actually not changing the gameplay, when you play the game, it's still gonna feel like the same thing. So I was really hoping that this year they would actually do a little bit better on maybe just changing up some of the animations, um, but maybe they have and they just are just holding out on that. I'm not really sure, but they did stay in the patch notes that they said, we heard you not only is your feedback and extremely important to us, but also helps Madden get better every year. I'm not sure if Madden's gotten better every year. I think Madden's actually gotten worse every year, but they did say our development team works tirelessly to incorporate high requested updates of franchise and that it will continue to update throughout the season. There will be more detailed staff management and skill tree progression systems with comprehensive weekly game strategy that integrates into your game plan. Through the regular season and off season, new scenarios will keep things fresh as you weigh various risks and rewards to make the right decisions for your team. Plus, franchise will see improvements throughout the year via three live service updates. Our first live service update is targeted for September to release one of your top requested features, which is player scouting. So that is gonna be awesome to see a rehaul. Hopefully, well, I say a rehaul, but an update to player scouting and then keep an eye out on more gridiron notes each live service update rolls in then they talk about dynamic game day for the first time ever you can experience dynamic game day a new feature that will impact gameplay across every mode in this year's game making the thrills and unpredictability of the nfl come to life which i am thinking is the whole pressure thing that i was talking about with ncaa that they did a few years back and there's also gonna be next gen stats star driven ai game day atmosphere which we will dive into below, make up the dynamic game day. Combining the power of next-gen technology, real-world play of data, and enhanced AI helps deliver the most emotionally driven and interactive gameplay yet. And it seems like the next-gen stuff, you know, people were kind of okay with it. Some people really didn't care for, you know, uh, for fantasy junkies and stat lovers, you know, you're really gonna like those next gen stats. And this is what they were talking about by below. It says every team and every player you know love will be more true to life with next gen stats, star driven AI. It's gonna change AI behavior and team tendencies based on real world data over the course of the NFL season. With redesigned next gen player movement 2.0, Players will bits, blitz, scramble, and break tackles during gameplay based on real-world next-gen stats data, meaning that throughout the course of the year, players will change the way that they're actually being played in Madden, which I think is gonna be a really awesome thing. It's gonna uh, definitely make the gameplay a lot more interactive and a lot more real. And uh, really, at the end of the day, that's what I'm all about. I don't care exactly how the game looks as much as I want it to be as realistic as possible and feel real when you play it. Then it says game day atmosphere is also bringing real NFL game scenarios to the Madden NFL 22. You'll experience the impact of spontaneous movements that can change the outcome of the game in a split second, all based on unique atmospheres and environments of the stadium. With each stadium housing a unique home field advantage game modifier, that's pretty cool, you'll be able to shift momentum in or out of your favor during high stake moments. You'll see all new crowd animations, 
unfilled reactions, celebrations that bring the real world emotion of game day to life. So that's actually pretty cool that, that being at home is actually going to have an advantage. Um, that's something that's really not been the case in previous men's. And hopefully that creates some, for some pretty good gameplay and some pretty tense uh, moments when you're playing franchise. So what do you guys think of the update so far to Madden 22 and the reveal? I would say on a scale from one to 10, I'm probably at a seven right now. Um, I'm definitely not as hyped as I have been in previous years. And I think it's because I always get really hyped for the new man to come out only to be disappointed. I do like the step that man is going, but I do think that they have to do a whole lot in order to compete with 2K when it comes out, because if 2K is anything like it was before, as far as just the fluidity of gameplay and the mechanics, a lot of people are going to flock over. I think a lot of people are going to flock over regardless. I do think that they're doing things and taking the right steps and getting in the right direction. Is it a little too late? I don't know. Let me know down in the comments. Are you pumped about it are you not uh will you be pre-ordering madden and do you think the trailer is enough to get you excited to play madden 22 i'm kind of on the fence with it of course i'm going to be playing it i'm going to be covering on the channel and if you want to stay up to date on all Madden content gameplay and you just want to have uh, a really cool spot to come out and kind of just hang out make sure to subscribe below and i will catch everybody later peace out